Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael back here again, and I have something for the PlayStation 5 homebrew scene. And what that is, is, is that Lightning Mods has created something called ETA Hen, which is an all-in-one homebrew enabler for the PlayStation 5. And he just updated this to version 2.2b. So going over here to the new additions, he states that all PS4 cheats should now work now that ASLR is disabled. And ASLR stands for Address Space Layout Randomization. Also, he renamed the debug settings to the ETA Hand Toolbox, added a PS5 game menu, which is called Webman, to the toolbox. For those that don't want to use Items Flow, but in my opinion, you do want to use both of these. They have lots of different pros and cons to each. Then added these new controller shortcuts, which I've talked about a number of times on the channel here, where you can automatically pop up the cheats menu, toolbox, and more things. He also states in here the utilities menu has been changed to the settings menu and is now below the services menu. So a little bit more clear on what exactly each section inside ETA Hen does. Also patch the system's game patch checker to not auto-update games when ETA Hen is active. This was very annoying in the past. Super glad that this is fixed. And then added a case stuff menu option to pause PS5 or PS4 to sense independently. And now for the cheats, it automatically checks to see if you have a latest and greatest cheats versus just randomly re-downloading it. Another great feature to have added in this. Also, there was added the ability to save remote play into a USB drive if one is detected. So this is great because sometimes the I's and the 1's and the L's look very similar on a PlayStation screen. So if you were able to dump this, you could just simply open a text file, and then you would be able to copy and paste that into whatever application that you wish for. And then finally added the option to disable the toolbox auto start in the rest mode option. Now there was a ton of other fixes in here, and just a few to call out here is PS5 debug now has 6.x support. Also, Items Flow Self Decryptor will work with PS5 7.x systems. And then fixed a few issues down in here. And then there was also an update over here to Items Flow Game Manager, which works with the PlayStation 4 as well as the PlayStation 5. So typically, whenever there is a brand new ETA hen, you also need to update Items Flow. So Let's just go ahead and download the version right here for the PlayStation 5. And I'll go ahead and I'll put that on a USB drive. And then all the hosts are already updated. So let's jump over to the PlayStation 5 and see this in action. Okay, so I just booted up my PlayStation 5. I am on version 4.03. And let's go ahead and get the system jailbroken here. So it's so easy to do this on a 4.03 system. It's just amazing. And there we go. ETA Hens 2.2b by Lightning Mods. So now that we have ETA Hen loaded, what I like to do is I like to come up here to my existing version of Items Flow and just hit the Delete button here. So I'm going to hit OK on that. And now that one has been deleted. Now we need to go over to our Debug Settings because we need to install the new version of Items Flow. And right there it is on a USB drive that I have connected to my PlayStation 5. And it is Items Flow version 1.11. Okay, so now we have that updated. So let's go ahead and begin working through the list of all of the new things that was added in here. So Going back to settings here and then scrolling all the way down here, what you can see is, is that Items Flow has renamed debug settings to the ETA Hen toolbox and also changed the icon here. That new icon looks really, really nice. So besides the icon, you can go right in here to the ETA Hen toolbox. And what you will see down here is, is there is now 
the ability to run your PlayStation 5 games directly through ETA Hen Toolbox. So here I've got a couple of games that I have went ahead and I have loaded up. So we'll just go ahead and we will try Grand Theft Auto 3, which you will need to make sure that you put these in the proper directory. Okay, so here we go. We've got Grand Theft Auto 3 and that game is working as you can see here. And we'll just run over here and we'll give this a spin here. So yeah, there you go. You can enjoy Grand Theft Auto 3 in all of its glory here. There you can see right here I am running the fake game of that. Okay, so let's go back over to ETA Hen Toolbox. And let's take a look at another really big feature here that is called Controller Shortcuts. So it says, shortcuts will persist upon reboots if the toolbox is active and that the combos are not limited to end game. So what that means over here is that if you activate any of these controller shortcuts, they will work anywhere inside of the PlayStation 5's operating system, including the home menu. Now, looking in here at all of the different controller shortcuts, if we take a look at one of these, you can see we can change any of these shortcuts to whatever that we would like. Now, I'm going to leave the cheats menu right here at the single tap share button. And then we're just going to leave the rest of these as they are. So you will need to remember what you mapped it to. So let's go ahead and let's give a few of these things a shot. So the first one let's test is the PS5 Webman game menu, which is where you long hold the share button. So I'm just going to get right here to the main menu and I'm going to hold the share button down. And right there, you can see I can now jump into any of these games that I want. And this is really, really neat because it really doesn't matter where you're at. If you long press on that button, then you can get to all of your different Webman games. So this, obviously, you do not have to load items flow. And it is a little bit quicker way to get yourself into a game. Now, there was also a keyboard shortcut that we had, which was opening the ETA Hen toolbox. And so in the past, a lot of us created these little shortcuts, as you can see right here, to quickly get back into it. But now if I hold L2 and R3, just like this right here, then I can jump straight to the ETA Hen toolbox, again, no matter where I'm at. So these keyboard shortcuts are going to be very, very helpful. And so now let's try the one that is associated with the game. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to play Quake 2. So if I come right here, for example, and I hold L2 and R2, you can see that I can pause or I can unpause case stuff directly inside of a game. So if I'm about to play this game, it would probably be very beneficial to just come in here and to just pause case stuff continue playing my game. And then of course, before I finish up with everything, I need to come back and I should toggle K stuff back on. Just like this right here. So again, by hitting those buttons, we can go from paused or from unpaused. And now another thing you can do with these controller shortcuts is, is that I can go directly and open up the cheats menu. So if I single tap my share button, what you'll see is, is that I'm brought right over here to ETA Hens Cheats and I can activate a cheat if this game supported it. So there isn't a cheat available for Quake 2 version 1.04. But what if there was a cheat for this game? Well, I could obviously hit this download updates cheat button and I would download the latest one. Now, as you see right here, it says that the cheat repo is up to date. That was another feature which stated that it will now check if it's up to date instead of always just re-downloading the whole repo. And so as you can see, there is a lot of different benefits to using these keyboard combos. Again, now if I was here and maybe I wanted to play a different game, I could again long press on the share button and from here, I can just go ahead and switch over to another game, such as Alan Wake Remastered, without doing something such as opening up items flow, etc. 
So for the ETA HEN toolbox, there was a couple of enhancements to the navigation here, and you will see that there is services, so you can turn on and off your services in here, such as your FTP server, and then we have settings. Now, previously, this was called utilities. Now, in here, there is a ton of different settings that you can take advantage of, but one of the new ones in ETA HEN 2.2b is, is that you can now pause the PS5 or the PS4 sysints independently. So again, you can do this through the controller shortcuts, which I showed you just a moment ago. Now, another feature that was in this was rest mode options here. And this option right here is brand new, which is allows you to disable the toolbox auto start the next time you enter rest mode. So a lot of folks have had issues coming back out of rest mode, and this will obviously help with that. Now, one more feature to talk about here in ETA HEN Toolbox is, is if we go to Remote Play here, you will see I have a PIN code and an account ID. Now I can press this button right here, and it will save that to my USB drive as remote underscore play underscore info dot txt. And so if we look at the file that is outputted, it looks just like this right here. So it gives you the account ID, the decoded ID, as well as the pin code. And if you just take a look over here, you can see some of those characters that I was talking about. It can be sometimes hard to decode, such as this one right here. Now at least you could copy and paste that if needed. Okay, so that pretty much does it for ETA HEN. Let's go ahead and open up items flow here. Okay, so here, if we go ahead and we go over to settings here, you will see that we have the ability to add a number of different home menu shortcuts. So from here, I could go ahead and I could install a shortcut that could get me right over to the cheats menu. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to install that one. So as you can see here, it says added ETA HEN. And then if we go ahead and press X again, and then just use the directional pad, I can install a games media shortcut as well. So let's just go ahead and do that. So I'm going to press X here, and you can see they have been added just right here. So I can go directly into the cheats, but right now I'm not in a cheat. Or I could also come over here and I could bring up the list of webman games that you saw just a little bit earlier. So you do not have to set a controller shortcut to access those. Those just make it a little bit easier, but it is extremely nice having these two options in there. Now, there is actually more. So if we go back over into items flow and press X again to interact, you will see that there is also a browser media shortcut that you can use. So let's press X on this. And from here, we need to give it a URL. Okay, so I just entered umtx2.pages.dev because that is Idlesauce's site here, and we're going to select Done. And so now you can see we added the shortcut. And now if we go over to the media set here, and don't worry, I just have been playing with a lot of different things. That's the reason I have so many icons. There is a new one here that is called Browser Custom. And if we press X on that, well, it will go directly to that page. So now there's really no need to download other packages that links directly to a URL, since you can basically build it yourself now. Okay, so there was a ton of things added into this release. And I just wanted to call out that if you do find this update helpful or useful, please consider donating to Lightning Mod. Obviously, as you can see here, I did some help with kind of testing this release, and I can tell you Lightning Mod spends a pile of his free time working on this. So, yeah, you know, help him out if you absolutely can't. Anyways, thanks so very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Michael!